Morning, folks. Kevin, Word in Vapour here again. You'll remember a few months ago, I did a review for the E-Pen. Let me have a toot of that. Absolutely love the uh, the E-Pen from Vipe. I've also got the Sigalites. Not for me. Those aren't for me. The Vipe E-Pen, I absolutely love the Vipe E-Pen. Can't go out without it. Vipe contacted me the other day and asked me if I would like them to send a sample of their latest product. Well, of course, I said yes, most definitely, because I, because I love this. I, I was really, really looking forward to uh, uh, to trying out one of their newer products. But they sent me this little thing. I'll tell you what, I'm in love. It's the, the e-box. When I got this, I was quite sceptical about it thinking I don't know I mean they, they they're known for sigalites and they're definitely known for their e-pen etc what is this going to be like well as I say I was skeptical and I was I was pleasantly surprised let's go down to the table and take a look over this vice hang about my dears won't keep you but a minute I'm putting my singing there down you see I can't sing without me singing there, Don, can I? <laughs> Has it? Off we go. Here is the Vipe e-box. Here's the packaging anyway. Look, it's, uh, I mean, you've got Vipe written there. You've got a picture of the mod on the front, picture of a bottle of juice. On the back, the various warnings, etc. What the box contains. I'm more excited to get inside this thing than uh, anything else. Let's vape. Oh, vape. Open it up. Yeah, you got your user manual stuck onto the... And it is stuck on too. There we go. Yes, you've got the manual here or uh, quick start guide. I do suggest that when you receive this product or when you buy this product, you actually sit down and you actually read this it will give you a lot of useful information about the product let's pop that to one side let's take out the mod itself that feels really nice in the hand usb cable micro usb cable oh they give you a little bottle of juice with it as well oh it's black cherry dark cherry actually Six milligram. Interested to see what this tastes like. If it's anything like their caps for the e pen, be very nice. Yeah, this is just a standard one way USB cable. So that if you plug that in, there we go. If you plug it in, you can actually still stand the device up. And there you go. Right. Oh, come on, out of there. Right. So let's have a look at the actual device itself. As you can see, it's black. It's got like a soft touch feel to it which is uh, which is good you've got vipe and their logo on the side there screen on the top there obviously you've got your tank which is uh, actually cradled within the device and this device is uh, tpd compliant there we go let's put the battery uh no i'll carry on with the battery case for a minute you've got like the 510 connection it isn't a true 510 connection on there and um no other atomizer i've got will actually fit in there uh on the bottom there you've got an on an off switch if you turn it on there we go you can see you've got the vape logo logo or vape like logo Sorry, I'm, I'm breaking these teeth in for red rum. To activate the device after you've turned it on, press this teardrop button. One, two, three. Again, it will come up with the Vipe logo. And as you can see, check out the miser. Uh, four watts. It is actually a four watt to 12 watt device. There we go. 12 watts. Obviously, there's no... Uh, no ohms there for the moment because I haven't got the tank connected up. Uh, I believe that the ohm is 2.1. I would like to have seen that come down slightly to, say, 1 ohm. 
that is the actual device itself. It does feel really, really nice in the hand. It's not exactly a very small little thing, but then it's not a very big little thing either, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Let's have a look at the tank. The drip tip oh, is a screw in drip tip. Again, I haven't got anything here that will replace that. I mean, this, uh, this drip tip is, uh, is quite nice, as you can see. Pop that to one side. Let's open her up. She is a top filler. There's your coil. What you have to do is take the base off. If I can... It's a bit awkward doing it in front of the camera, but just give it a bit of a pull. And there's your, there's your coil. It hasn't got the suggested wattage or anything like that on the coil. You can incidentally buy these coils directly from Vipe and I'm sure that uh, stockists will have supplies of these. They're usually about £9 for three, I think, something like that memory serves correct pop the coil back in now when you pop the coil back in if you align there's two there's a flat end there and a flat end there if you align those up with these protuberances and you'll just simply just push back in like so 2 mil tank, TPD compliant, fine. Let's uh, take a look at this base. <coughs> Aerodynamic airflow. You can switch, you can turn the airflow down, as you can see. Turn it down and pull it open again. Oh no, it does help if I've got it the right way around, I suppose. <laughs> Screw that back in like so. You guess I say you can alter your. That's as far as the uh, the airflow will go down. Yeah, so you're still going to be able to pull from this, but it's very, it'd be very very restrictive. Open up. There we go. Right. So put that drip tip back in there. Oh, come on. Of course it screws, doesn't it? I'm trying to push it in and it screws. Right. So. screw that back up and then you pop your tank back into the housing of your, your battery and as you can see you can still turn the airflow on and turn it off from, from here at the back here it's hollowed out or concaved so that it's not going to interfere if you look down in there you've got a space there and that is where your airflow will generally sit. The front part of the airflow will always sit to the front and the back will always sit to the back. But what that airflow at the back does is it sits so that uh, it's got a space there and you, you can't put your finger over the airflow and disrupt the, the airflow, basically. That Let's take this back out here again because I'm going to put some e-liquid in this. Now, Vipe very kindly sent along a selection pack of their juices. Let me just take that away. And that away, as you can see. Now, I haven't decided which one I'm going to use yet. They've given me mint or crisp mint, aniseed, golden tobacco, blended tobacco, dark cherry, neutral. I presume that is an unflavoured juice. Well, that's fair enough. Infused vanilla and fresh apple. Now, I'm reliably told you can actually mix these flavours to give you your own, like a little mixologist, if you like. It's fair enough. But what I'm going to do today is i'm gonna i'm gonna stick with the one that actually came in the box i think 
which is the dark cherry. Well, they've given me two dark cherries, so I may, I may as well. I don't know. There's no selection, actually. Little nozzle type things on there. Get your tank. I'll make sure that hits the two mil mark. Don't go over the two mil mark if you can help it. Otherwise, it might flood. Close the thing off and pop it back onto your device. And we're now ready to take a two of it. Welcome back up. So that was the device. Let me give you a little bit more information. When it comes to you, you get one e-box. You get a glass tank, stainless steel, atomizer, absolutely fabulous. That isn't a 510 connection on there, although I would like to see that standardised, because it means, for me, I cannot use any other atomizer on this. Also with this, as you saw down in the, uh, in the close-up, the drip tip, I'm not fond of metal drip tips. I would much rather switch them out for plastic drip tips. I haven't got anything that will screw in there. So I'm going to have to put up with the, with, with this one. That's fine. Put that back in there. Let's give this a toot because I'm getting a bit, I've been talking too much. That's my problem. The airflow on that is is wonderful, absolutely wonderful. 12 watts, that is the maximum it'll go up to, and a minimum 4 watts. As I said earlier, this is geared at the newbie. You get, in the box, you get a, a liquid with it, 6 milligrams uh, dark cherry. You also get the USB cable and a user guide. Uh, now, the user guide is quite important, and I would recommend that you do sit and read that before you even operate this what else can i tell you about this the design features of it ergonomically cradling the atomizer it means that if you drop this the tank's unlikely to bust but that's fair enough i've got several of them i haven't got one out at the moment but i've got several of them that uh, you can fit your atomizer into that's great it, 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 it's great because it actually protects the uh, the atomizer because when you you drop it down onto the deck, uh, see if I've got something here that I can. Well, we use the box, shall we? If you drop it down on on and it lands on its uh, on its front, if you look there, you can see that the the atomizer is actually protected by the casing. Which is good, which is it's, it's fabulous, and it's TPD compliant. Which now that the TPD is coming in, or has come in, by the time that this video goes out, I've lost my train of thought. Where was I? Soft touch finish, like a rubberized, like the the E pen. It got like a rubberized feel to it. This is exactly the same. Now I wish that they'd done on this one like they did with this one and give you like a rubberized tip my opinion only very comfortable to the hand very very comfortable so i'm reading off my notes here because since i've received this product i've made obviously copious notes well it's the only way that i can work yeah i need a drink soft touch finish very comfortable to the hand i have got a bit of a gripe about the uh, the battery case and that is the the fire button and the up and the down buttons. Now, because I suffer with arthritis, I personally would have liked to have seen those buttons on the side so that you can trigger pull it or thumb pull it, push it. The way that they're situated there at the moment, it means I've got to stretch my thumb around and press that button. It's, it's that little teardrop button just there. I mean, she fires and she fires every single time. Listen. There you go. Well, I'm doing a Professor Vapes, aren't I? Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, dear. It says 
on the instructions and where I've got the information etc for this it's got an anti-glare screen now that screen I would have preferred to have seen down the side you know like uh, like some of the other devices that we've uh, we've got they uh, they've got the OLED screen there well that's fair enough again that would be my personal preference anti-glare so you can use it outside I haven't at the moment but I will do and I'll let you know how I get on with it. The tank itself is a top fill. Yeah, I, I mean, I bought up just now about the uh, the battery housing and the uh, because it actually goes inside the device. It's cradled. Airflow is very good on this. Maybe just a little when it's wide open. Maybe just a little bit too restrictive for me. But then I'm used to sub ohm tanks. I'm also used to RDAs. So yeah, that's that's fine. It's going to suit a new... Get them into box mods. It's got an auto shutdown after 15 minutes, which helps to save your battery power. Talking about batteries, I'd also like them to put a removable battery in this instead of uh, the one that they've got in there, which incidentally is, uh, I think it's 2,000 more. Yeah, it's 2,000 mile. I would much rather them put an 18650 in there. Little case on the bottom, slip it in. That would help because as it stands at the moment, when this runs out of power, you have to charge it via the, the uh, uh, USB port. Now, you all know what I'm like. I don't really like charging my devices via the USB uh, I would much rather take the battery out and switch the battery straight away as I said personal opinion no disrespect to Vipe in that respect 2.1 ohm coil in this tank for me too high and I think that a lot of seasoned vapors out there would find a 2.1 ohm a bit too high I would like to see them drop the uh, the coil ohm down to say one ohm that would work for me the tank itself while it's made all made of uh, stainless steel the glass as far as i can tell it is uh, pyrex so if it shatters it's going to shatter let's give this another two mouth to lung straight to lung so you can straight to lung on this, which is good, and you can mouth to lung for those people that are used to cigar lights. Ah, oh, there you go. It's got tobacco in it, and I'm not a big fan of tobacco. Talking about juices, I showed you on the close up -y the, uh, let me just get them. The pack that uh, that Vipe sent along. I thank them very much for that. I wasn't expecting that at all. It is a nice looking pack. I mean, there you go. I mean, you get eight flavours. I got eight flavours from them, which is, uh, I mean, it was complimentary. It's very nice of them. As I was saying in the, in the close-up, if you wanted to, I understand that you can actually mix... The flavours. So if you're a little bit of a uh, a mixologist, like me, I've got my concentrates. So you can mix your own juices with that. The juice, so I understand, is a PG-based juice. That was one thing I didn't check on the, on the packaging, actually. Eyes are playing trombone again. No, there is no uh, ratio of uh, what the uh, PGVG value is there. Um, I would imagine that they are a, a heavy VG based liquid. The flavour, I do actually like that black cherry. It is really, really rich. And quite, it's quite smart, it's nice. I mean, yeah, you don't get a great deal of uh, a vapour from it. But then when I'm walking down the road or when I'm sitting on my scooter, etc. 
I don't want to blow huge, huge clouds. 12 watts, absolutely fine. I mean, I still know people that are, va uh, that are vaping on 8 watts. I mean, good luck to them. Good luck to them. That's what I say. This might actually suit them. It might do. There you go. Yeah. Right, well, that's about all that I can say about this little thing. If I've forgotten anything, I'll bring it up in uh, a vlog or something like that. Is there anything else here that I've... Variable power settings, personalised vapour density. Obviously, that's your airflow there. Adjustable channeled airflow for a uh, customised draw. Well, I don't think that I've forgotten anything, but if I have... Um, I'll bring it up in a vlog, as I said. Wonderful. I love that. Oh, I can't get over how nice that flavour is. Now, I, I don't usually get on very well with PG liquids. Uh, there you go. Anyway, look, this is Kevin from Wording Vapor. Wishing all you guys out there a bright and pleasant day. And it is nice out there today. It really is. So, there you go. Anyway, thank you very much for listening to my warblings on. I know I do go on just a little bit too much sometimes. <laughs> so, there you go. Anyway, look, as I said, you guys have a nice, pleasant day. Fape on. Stay safe. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Cheers for now. Let's vape you out. You can't please all the people all the time, but we hope we'll please most of you most of the time. Anyway, see you soon.